Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Chrome. So if you follow the web browser wars, you may have noticed that the newcomer, Google's Chrome browser, has taken 10% of the market share in the last year. So right now, Internet Explorer is still the dominant one out there. Firefox is number two. And number three is actually Chrome, leaving Safari as the fourth most popular browser. Now for Mac users, of course, Safari is the most popular browser. That's because it comes pre-installed with your Mac and most people just continue to use it. And it actually is a very good browser. As a matter of fact, Chrome and Safari share the same engine for rendering pages. So the base code for both browsers is the same. However, if you're curious, you may want to try out Chrome. Let me run down some of the ways in which Chrome is different than Safari. So you can see that Chrome has a very different user interface than Safari. For one thing, the tabs are on top of the toolbar and there's also a single field here that's used for both searching and for addresses. So for instance, if I were to type MacMost, it'll try to autocomplete MacMost.com, but you notice in the suggestions here, there are both search terms and addresses. So I can just search for MacMost by using this field here, or I can jump to a specific address. As I add tabs, I'm just going to use Command T here to quickly add a tab. You can see that the tabs appear above the toolbar, and as I switch between them, you can see the values of the toolbar change to reflect which tab I'm on. In fact, in Chrome, each of these is kind of like a separate browser running. In fact, if something crashes in one of these tabs, it won't take the other tabs with it. You can add on to Chrome in a lot of different ways by going to Google's store that includes apps, extensions, and themes. So a lot of different apps, they're basically small applications that run inside the Chrome web browser for a lot of different purposes. Also extensions for various different things for uh, things you may want to accomplish, very similar to uh, Safari's extensions. And also themes that you can use to change the design of what Chrome looks like. One of the cool things in Chrome is it uses Google Translate to help you translate web pages. So for instance, I'm going to go to this Norwegian site here and you can see that the text is not in English, but at the top it automatically recognizes that the page is in Norwegian and asks if I want to translate it. I'll hit the translate button and now the text has been translated, although a little crudely, into English. Another thing Chrome does is allow you to sync your bookmarks. So you can set up sync here and it will use a Google account, your Gmail account, to sync bookmarks across Chrome browsers on different devices. Now you can do that with Safari, but you need a mobile me account. Now the question that often comes up is which browser is faster, Safari or Chrome? And you'll find all sorts of opinions, but very little facts. Most people get the feeling that one browser is faster than the other. And they both use the same engine, so the speed's going to be about the same. JavaScript's a little different, but they keep leapfrogging each other there. The truth is that whenever you switch to a new browser, one that doesn't have any history or any data stored with it, it's always going to seem a little faster than the one that you've been using perhaps for years. For most users, there's no need to switch from just using Safari. But if you'd like to experience a different browser, you may want to try downloading Google Chrome. You can do that by going to google.com slash chrome. Now, if you've got a preference as to whether you like to use Safari or Chrome, I'd love to hear from you. Just leave a comment at this address at MacMost. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.